Today we're going to introduce the story A Separate Piece by John Knowles. So a little bit about the author first. John Knowles was born on September 16, 1926 in Fairmont, West Virginia, and at the age of 15, Knowles attended New Hampshire's prestigious Phillips Exeter Academy. Now the setting of his novel is, is going to be at the Devon School, and it's based on his, at his experience there. Now he entered Yale University in 1944, and he joined the U.S. Air Force shortly after. John Knowles graduated from Yale with a B.A. in English in 1949, and he worked for several magazines as both a writer and as a critic of other literature. So in 1956, the magazine Cosmopolitan published Knowles' short story, Phineas, which was later expanded into the novel A Separate Piece. So he decided to push this novel out as a full piece, and his novel was rejected 11 times from several different publishing companies, but finally it was published in 1959 in London. And then the first American edition was going to be produced in February of 1960. So what are the critics saying? Why was it rejected so many times? But there was immediate unanimous praise, but from British reviewers. It was even compared to J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye that came out a few years earlier. However, in the United States, a separate piece was not an immediate bestseller. Nevertheless, by the late 1960s, it becomes a major part of high school English curriculums. So now, up to date, a separate piece has sold more than 9 million copies, and the text earns Knowles somewhere between thirty dollars to $40,000 a year in royalties alone. So Knowles went on to publish several other novels, including Peace Breaks Out, which is a, a sequel to a separate piece, which retains the Devon School setting, but has a different cast of characters. The sequel is not going to be as popular as the original. So the historical context for the novel, it takes place in the 1940s, shortly after the United States had declared its involvement in World War II. America had troops in Europe and the Pacific during the time of the novel. Now the war brought out enormous levels of patriotism in all Americans, but the compulsory military draft registration was a constant concern for young men like those in the novel A Separate Peace. However, draft dodging was virtually unthinkable. If you called up, you were going to go. Now, educational opportunities were limited for minorities and women. Public schools were fine, but most of the wealthy sent their boys to private schools. And so you would see, like in Devon School, all white male prep schools. These were an upper-class student's best chance to get into the best private universities. And therefore, because of all of this, pressure to succeed at these prep schools was great. So the setting of a separate piece, again, is in 1942 at the boys' boarding school, Devon School in New Hampshire. The story, however, is told as a flashback from the perspective of an older Jean. Noel skips back and forth between the early 1940s, where your main character Jean is a teenager, and the late 1950s, where Jean is now an adult. Your two main characters are going to be two best friends. Gene, of course, is our narrator, and his friend Phineas, or otherwise known as Finney. Now, Finney is athletic, he's kind of reckless, and he's very charismatic. His friend Gene is going to be intellectual and shy and yet a little bit competitive, so they have a tendency to kind of match one another even though they have very separate characteristics. You have other supporting characters at the school as well. You have Leper, otherwise known as Ellen LaPellier. Uh, you have Brinker Hadley, Phil Latham. You have Mr. Ludsberry, Cliff Quackenbush, and then, of course, Dr. Stanpole as we get towards the end of the story. Some of the theme topics we'll be looking for throughout the story will be for the coming of age, because your two main characters, Gene and Finney, are teenage boys that will face common teenage problems, such as what to do about the girls that are across the way in a different school. Uh, their sense of pride. After all, there's a lot of pressure, not only when it comes with academics, but when it comes to, say, pranks, when it comes to uh, uh, athleticism. And then, of course, the expected future. Because they're attending a prestigious private school, there's expectations that they're going to attend prestigious private colleges. So there's a lot of teenage problems that are facing these boys. The sense of guilt and innocence is also a theme between childhood pranks, 
and then serious consequences to choices that they've made, Jean, as a narrator, is going to try to find the peace, a separate peace, in his choices. And then, of course, as the setting is in the World War II, uh, war is also going to become a theme. It weighs heavily on the boys at school, and Jean is eventually going to go off to war. So being a flashback story where Jean has already been to war and back, there's going to be this sense of the oncoming war as a, as a reoccurring theme. The point of view, it is told in first person point of view, the narrative style, of course, because it is Gene, it is also in flashback. Now as an adult, he's looking at things from a much wiser and more p mature perspective than he would have if we were living in the moment. Well, that's it for your introduction, guys. If you like this video, please comment and leave me a like. If you'd like to hear about other story introductions, please leave that in the comments as well. I'd like it if you subscribed as well. Thanks for stopping by.